there's a lot of ways to screw up playing Dota 2. Misclicks, bad buybacks, item decisions, you name it. But no screw ups in Dota 2 history are more famous than Team Orange's KYXY at TI3. Orange versus 2011 International Champions, Navi. It comes down to one single game. Either team to take it, gonna head in to the grand final. We were waiting backstage to see who was gonna win between uh, Orange and Navi. From how we saw it, Orange had the upper hand. We we're kind of preparing mentally to play against Orange in the finals. We colossally fucked up that game. Like, <laughs> we, we fed so much. It's like, if you watch that game, it's like feed after feed after feed after feed. I remember KYXY was just a boss. He was doing so well at this TI. He was carrying Orange in so many of those matches. And then he has this moment. And then just deal with his Aegis when it comes out. Should be on the hands of Mushi, and in fact goes the hands of Windrunner. And no. Denial. What? They denied it. They failed. Oh! We didn't realize that first. If I remember correctly, we were still playing the game for like five minutes. And like the pressure was getting to us too, and like a lot of like stuff's going on. At some point, I think it was Dendi, or maybe who was, it's like, oh, they don't have the ages. Like, I think it took a few seconds for like the casters to realize as well, if I remember correctly, like the crowd as well. Everybody was like, a few moments later, like, oh, oh, that doesn't happen. <laughs> I mean, who does that? And why didn't he pick the age? You have so many questions always, always in this, that, uh, I mean, you kind of ruined the game. It's the feeling that you're left with. There's footage of KYXY at that moment uh, as his heart literally shatters. When I saw that, I mean, uh, I felt so bad for him. I felt so bad for KYXY. I think it's it stays with him maybe all his life. If we're going to have him in the seat, we're going to be talking about it with him. Poor guy. Don't bully him too much. When I was in the row, I didn't want to that's what he was doing. Literally, that's what he was doing. It's just spamming it like that, you know, just going ham, making it feel like it will kill it faster or something like that, or like, you're just so nervous, probably. Tangs and this is when you just, you, you, you need your team, you need your teammates to be there for you. Just like when you're going to be there for them, uh, once that's going to happen to them. I think every pro Dota player at some point has made a fatal mistake in a game. And all you can do is try and move past it, and either try and still win the game if it's winnable, or just go on to the next one. And